This is Ice Cream Gecko, and in today's video we're going to take a look at the Minions Mini Gelato Banana Split. Now, this has been quite popular for quite a while, and uh, I haven't heard much of the Minions, but I saw this ice cream uh, a couple of weeks ago. This has been sitting in the freezer for quite some time, and uh, I'm now finally getting around to reviewing this. Uh, I do not really know what is expecting me, because I've never had Banana Split in uh, a pint as an ice cream before, but I'm sure that this is going to be awesome and great and will uh, delight my senses in every possible way. Uh, minions love, uh, we've got a little minion flower thing, uh, a banana, we've got peace, which is always great, and then we've got a hippie minion, which has got two eyes, this one has got as well, this one's got as well, but the the flower one has got one, which is... oh, the poor boy. Okay, <laughs> let's take a quick look at the ingredients list. Uh, pause to read that. And a quick look at the nutrition table. I can read that out first. We've got 119 kilocalories per 100 milliliters, 5.1 grams of fat, 3.1 grams of those are saturated fatty acids. We've got 16 grams of carbohydrates, 16 of them are sugar. We've got uh, under 0.5 grams of uh, fiber and 2.2 uh, grams of protein and 0 0.07 grams of salt. Ice cream for future, 100% organic and climate neutral. Climate neutrally produced? I do not know English, <laughs> so let's take off the top. And uh, yeah, well, okay. Okay, we set that to the side and uh, admire that kind of image. Do not know what that is meaning. And uh, as expected, yeah, I might have not been the greatest at transporting this, but it does look nice. It is, of course, injected into this uh, pint. It's a bit unevenly injected, but it does smell of... Yes, it does smell of lovely synthetic banana, which is awesome. We've got some chocolatey bits in there, mixed in there, which looks decent as well. Oh, and it, it, yeah, that, that smell, that utter synthetic banana smell is quite potent. So I've got to say the first impression is quite decent, I must say. Um, the color is fine, I guess it's a banana ice cream. It should be yellowish, but not entirely yellow, because that's a bit overboard. Uh, yeah, it's all right. The scent is, of course, bits, <laughs> just, just a slight bit synthetic. But that's what you expect from that sort of item, at least that's what I expect from that. Banana is, uh, well, becoming synthetically uh, smelling quite quickly, so... Uh, it appears that I have not done the greatest job at cutting this, but it, lasts, it does look quite alright, although a bit unnatural. Um, when I um, have been on a split, I usually don't see that yellow of an ice cream, but uh, I will roll with that. So this one is going back in the freezer and I'll be right back with you in a second. So after a bit of a sprint up and down the staircase, I'm uh, back at the desk. That's the only kind of sport activity I'm, uh, I'm getting at this point in time. Uh, this uh, pandemic year is certainly having some kind of effect. So, uh, we can see that the ice cream hasn't really melted all that much. It does look like it didn't melt as quickly as the last week's Muforia. And what was it? Chocolate cookie dough thing? I don't know anymore. The consistency right here it uh, yeah, it, it doesn't feel as creamy on the spoon as some other manufacturers do. The ice creams of some other manufacturers. It's a lot stiffer, well not stiffer, a lot, a lot more dense, one could say. And when we smell at that cutting edge, at that scraping edge, it does smell a bit more intense of synthetic banana flavor, which is lovely. <laughs> so, I'll give this a quick taste test now. Looking pretty good, to be honest. So the first spoonful is quite all right, I must say. Yeah, it does definitely taste of banana. It uh, tastes very much like these banana milkshakes. Almost exactly like it. 
feels like they just you know, took a banana milkshake and uh, made it into an ice cream. Which is, of course, not a bad thing to do. Although the banana split that I know is a, a, a bit different when it comes to the presentation and uh, well, the entire setup of that particular dessert. Uh, very different indeed. I'll go for a second one. So that first impression of the flavor certainly manifests itself. It tastes almost exactly like a banana milkshake or one of these banana milk packets that you can get. You know those car cartons, these little cartons for children with that straw that you uh, poke into the carton on the top and then you just drink it out of there. I always enjoyed those when I was a kid. I uh, didn't really have many of those in the past few years, but uh, they were yeah, well, they were quite nice. I must admit that. Yeah, really enjoyed them. Good times. So something we didn't talk about up until this point are these little these little chocolate splits. I guess that's what the banana split gets its name from. Maybe. <laughs> I'm probably wrong on that. I got a bit interrupted. I'm sorry about that. Um, these little chocolate pieces. Um, I didn't expect that. I expected them to be a lot lighter. A bit, you know, lighter of a chocolate, uh, which they usually are. But they are spot on. They are the perfect uh, in-between of, of, you know, slight sweetness and some bitterness as well. Absolutely perfect. Uh, very much like the the chocolate pieces that you find in uh, Strach what's it called Stracciatella ice cream, which is uh, one of my favorites. Certainly love that stuff when it's when it's good, you know. But it's very simple, so it's not that that hard to achieve. But that's what these little chocolate uh, shavings do remind me of. So I guess I'll finish this entire half and I'll give you my verdict in just a second for you, a couple of minutes for me. So I've finished my portion size and I'm happy to announce that this is better than I expected. Um, I went into this with uh, not high hopes, I must say. A banana split is uh, not easy to achieve in, in a pint of this kind of, you know, theme. So I wasn't hoping for much. And this is certainly not what uh, I, I see as banana split dessert or ice cream in general. Um, certainly not in that color because it just doesn't look right. I mean, the banana itself, the skin is yellow, but the inside that you eat really isn't all that much. So um, yeah, that's that's a bit different than I expected. But I've got to say, um, apart from that, that scent, that, that smell, which is which feels kind of synthetic. The taste itself is absolutely fine. Uh, it tastes just like these uh, banana milkshakes or banana milk drinks, uh, which is lovely. I always loved them, like I <laughs> said previously, I think. And uh, yeah, overall, it's uh, pretty decent. It doesn't leave a very synthetic aftertaste in your mouth. Uh, that's something that you get with uh, things like these sometimes. Uh, this one not that much at all, uh, certainly not more than uh, I'm used to. And these little chocolate shavings in there, those were great. Absolutely spot on when it comes to the the bitterness and the, the sweetness of those things. The entire flavor development of that in your mouth is, is quite decent. And many of these companies nowadays go for a lot lighter chocolate, which um, yeah, I guess is, is something that more people seem to enjoy nowadays, maybe, but um, I prefer that that darker chocolate that it, with that bit of bitterness inside of that. It feels better. It feels like like chocolate, you know. So overall, I can definitely recommend this ice cream. Uh, I'm sorry, I haven't got the price for it anymore. It, it's been quite a while since I bought this, and it's been sitting in the freezer for quite a while. So uh, yeah, I guess when they see this in the supermarket and uh, it's on sale, uh, well, feel free to try it out if you like banana milkshakes, because this is very much what it resembles. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little video and uh, I hope I'm going to see you soon. If you liked this video, please leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. And if you want to see more like this, please subscribe. Until next time, bye bye.